Hey guys, Priyank here from Max Tricks. In this video, I'll be telling you that how you can install Dolby Atmos on your phone. So, in the last video, I gave a review about the Pixel Experience Plus, and you saw that the Dolby Atmos was installed in it. So, let me tell you that I uh, installed the Dolby Atmos by rooting the phone. Uh, and installing the Dolby Atmos Magisk module. So right now I've uninstalled it So I'll be showing you now that how you can install the Dolby Atmos with rooting your device. So let's get started Okay, first things first Let me tell you that you need to root your phone with uh, Magisk so as to install Dolby Atmos so if you want to uh, If you don't know that how to root your device make sure to comment I'll make a video that how you can root your device so uh, let's get to the main topic first of all before we install it let me just show you that how the speakers uh, speakers sound without Dolby Atmos so let me just open Spotify and let me play a non copyright sound music okay so this is the music so this is without Dolby Atmos So as you can see that the sound quality uh, seems to be very balanced but after I install the Dolby Atmos you can see a lot of difference not in the speakers but when you use it for headphones or the other Bluetooth devices or external uh, external speakers you can see a lot of difference so let me just uh, install Dolby Atmos so I will be showing you how you can install it so first of all what you have to do just go to Magisk okay so then click on install from storage okay so this is the magic module which is required to flash uh, to be flashed so this uh, uh, this is about 23 MB so just click on it and click it ok so it takes about five to six seconds for installing And let me tell you, do, you don't need to flash the audio modification library for it. You can just flash this module and you can enjoy the Dolby Atmos experience. So let me just reboot my phone. You should, uh, you have to reboot your phone so as to access Dolby on your phone. Okay. A few inches later. So guys, finally my phone has booted up. And as you can see, there's an app called Dolby Atmos which has been installed after I booted my device. So there are three modes, the dynamic mode, the movie mode and the music mode for enjoying the Dolby Atmos experience. So in my personal experience, I use the movie mode which gives me the best quality of sound in Dolby Atmos. So you should definitely check it out if you want to flash the Dolby Atmos in your phone. And let me tell you that you can also use external uh, 3.5mm jack headphones, speakers or also Bluetooth devices to enjoy Dolby Atmos and you also get an access to equalizer so let me just plug into an headphone as you can see when I plug in an earphone a pop-up call switch to wired earphones has showed up and you can see there's a equalizer which you can also set according to according to your music test but let me tell you that don't increase the treble or anything too much because it can damage your earphones and your ears too so I would recommend you to use it very very carefully so yeah uh, in my personal experience uh, you should definitely increase the treble to somewhat and uh, increase the bass now let me show you the speaker test after I have enabled Dolby Atmos so let me tell you that for speakers you cannot access the equalizer you, you can just uh, set the three modes the music dynamic and the movie mode so i'll be using the movie mode for this test so let me show you the sound results so guys let me
back to the song so it doesn't work so effectively on speakers but you can definitely use external headphones or bluetooth devices for better results so uh, let me now show you the side by uh, side comparison between turning off and turning on dolby atmos uh, which differs the results so let me just show you the side by side comparison now So guys I hope you found the difference between turning on and turning off Dolby Atmos on your phone but let me tell you it does not work so effectively uh, with the uh, internal speakers of your phone but when you're using an external headphone or an external speaker via the 3.5 mm jack or bluetooth you can feel amazing sound experience change cuz you get access to the equalizer first of all and you can uh, uh, change it according to your music taste so i hope you found this video helpful and if you found it helpful make sure to subscribe our channel share it with your friends and stay tuned so goodbye and take care